What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have a kaiju from the MonsterVerse. We have Shin Godzilla. So close up on his head, sort of like side profile, kind of, you can maybe a little bit three quarter, okay? Got Sharpie all over my hands. Uh, that's what you get for drawing with Sharpie, I guess. I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? When I move my hand, right? So, I'm just moving my screen. Okay. Uh, where to begin? Okay. So, quite detailed sort of character. We'll give it our best shot. Center point of my page is about here, right? So his head, we're, we're gonna put his head up here and we have some of his neck and some of those scales on the back, right? So the head is like right up here. So center here, up, over to the right. I'm gonna start with his frown, sort of just above his eye, right? Just a sort of, it's kind of a bumping, sort of tick line, just up here. So let's just go for it. So we're gonna curve a line there. And then this bends around and over his eye, right? Just there. And then this will go back this way. So now in under there is his eye. And his eyes are like, he's got these like beady little, um, yeah, just like beady, beady circular eyes, right? So we'll just do kind of a circle, right? I don't know what type of pupils he has. Godzilla, I think, has... Does Godzilla have round or slender eyes? I'm going to give him a snake-like or cat-like sort of long eye here. Okay. Just a line. Like that. Okay. You could give it a, a circular one if, if that's more accurate. I'm not really sure. But we're going to go with this. see how we go so then under the eye so we've got like so this is like his frown and then we have like a cheek line that comes back this way all right comes back like that and then we have an eyelid line in under here comes around his eye in there and like some more of those sort of wrinkles and things in under his eye, right? And the dog comes back this way. I like another eyelid line or something going this way. I might make it dark underneath here a little bit more. I like lots of these sort of wrinkles. I'm gonna add some like, so like his skin is real bumpy, right? So we'll add like all the sort of wrinkles around under here like those kind of details okay so then like the frown for his head so we have a frown line that goes back this way right all these sort of bumps come back here towards the back of his head so then his nose sort of comes down here towards his mouth. He's got like a, a, a like a squished up sort of face compared to Godzilla, right? So we've got like some frown, extra frown lines kind of here, right? Another one on this side. And then his nose will come out from here, sort of bumping down. Yeah, kind of just bumps down this way. So it's kind of a flat nose. Coming around into there. He's got a nostril here. Get dark. Nostril and another one should be maybe here. This nose might come around.
we can see just um, like some bumps and scales and stuff and like some skin lines coming around the side with a nostril sort of here Of wrinkles and stuff on the side of his nose as well. Coming this way as well. So that's these skin lines now going back this way. You do as much of this. This is like just texture, so kind of optional how much of this you want to do you know we'll just maybe do a little bit like that right and then so his top lip kind of sticks out from the side of his nose here so it kind of like bumps a little bit sticks out here and then we should maybe see his nose and that's his cheek maybe like some more bumps for a cheek or something on that side and then what we can see of his brow on the other side here right so kind of like this brow area right so kind of sticks out here like so and then like some more sort of wrinkles and Right, so the top of his head will bump back real far. So you're, you're going for this bumpy sort of thing. Back this way. All of these bumps and things. head like so and you can add as much of this texture kind of as you want right so Right, so let's see. So like his top lip and his jaw, right? So his top lip starts here. There's loads of teeth and stuff that come out from this, but we'll just do the jaw that goes across and it goes it goes comes out from the side of his head here, right? So it comes around. Like there, say. And then this will bump. Bump down. There's all teeth sticking out of this line, right? So this kind of bumps down this way. And then you can add more sort of texture. So that kind of thing. Right, and then, so coming out from here, then we have lots of teeth coming out from the top. So 
we'll say like, like it's real sharp teeth like this. And there's a lot of them, right? So some go in behind others. There's small ones in behind. A lot of teeth. So you just keep adding them now. Many as you can. Some are real small, some are longer. Some are in behind others. There might be one or two like up here, you know, like on his face, like one stick in there, maybe just. Like so. And then his, they actually, how far? There's one out here, even. Tiny other ones go all the way up. And then his bottom jaw, right? So we'll go bump this around again. Around here. And then there'll be like a tooth here or something. And then his chin comes down. Around like so. And his jaw comes back up around towards the top of his head up here that comes up to about there say like I think it's like eye level and then it curves into there and then we add like lots more gnarly sort of teeth inside here as well This kind of thing. goes all the way there's like some gum lines and stuff with some teeth inside here as well it goes all the way around so there's like teeth that go back into the back of his mouth in there around the other side you know so that's all like teeth inside there's loads of them right like so and then so we add kind of maybe a tooth like sticking off here and then there's like all texture lines, kind of like what we did up here. So, like real wrinkly mouth on them. As much of this now. He's real wrinkly, right? So we can kind of add this. So, with 
characters like this, like with lots of texture and stuff, it's really up to you how much you want to do, you know. But I think I'll leave it there. So, now we're going to travel all the way down. We'll just get the general shape for his neck, right, and his body, and then we'll add all those details, and then we'll do the fins on the back of his neck last, right? So, back of his head, right, real bumpy. Back of his neck then travels down, okay? So this gets kind of smoother. It's not as bumpy as the top of his head. So I'll just move my picture down. So and then kind of down here, we start hitting some shoulder bumps or something. So it like comes out like the back of his neck. Some lines like this, and then this comes down kind of curves around here. Right, goes that way. And then the front of his neck. So we first kind of come in here. And then we th stick out along this way. And then his collarbone and chest on this side so it comes out here, down into there, like so. So he, we have all these neck muscles and stuff that come down towards his collarbone here. And we've got like a pointy part that sort of sticks up, right, like here. It's kind of like a, a bone or something. And then we've got like wrinkles and stuff that curve across his collarbone going up towards his neck there right and then this comes across this is like his collarbone bump goes across this way towards his shoulder and then the bottom of that real gnarly sometimes like it can have some skin lines and stuff but we'll keep it as simple as we can. We won't do it exactly. So this comes down here, and then this joins us. More skin sort of goes this way, right? So this is his collarbone area. Right, like this. Lots of wrinkles and stuff on it there. Lines like coming down from here. Chest muscle sort of area. Like so. Then his shoulders in here, right? So we've got like the main sort of area of it. Just like there, and then some lines that join into the collarbone, and then the collarbone will go like up and join the shoulder here somewhere. So, let's see. So that's like the main line, right? So this shoulder. I guess it's like I guess we'll have like some lines for his shoulder here that comes around the back and then like some muscles or extra sort of areas there and again like all sort of wrinkly Eventually, this will like join his neck. Like he, he'll have like a trapezius sort of area here. Nice. I mean, like this is again is his shoulder, and it has like lots of bumps and wrinkles and stuff. Mm. Following around. The scales and like that. 
Okay, so that's like the top of his shoulder. This is like armpit sort of area, you know, so you could thicken up. So if you make some areas darker, right, it'll put some shadows. Sometimes this can help things. So you're just like making some lines thicker, leaving some thin lines, like real thin. Okay. So adding as much of these wrinkles now as you want, right? So then, neck muscles inside here, okay? So, we have like a couple of threads of muscle fiber that run down from the top of his head, right? So say, we'll go with the main one here, right? So this is gonna go this way. There's lots of texture and stuff on this as well. So I'm gonna say it goes down and in. Here, okay. One of the main neck muscles on this guy going this way. And I think we've got like some more bumps just on the top of his head here. Okay. And some more sort of bumps and texture lines all on the top of his head here as well. Main neckline, or the one beside it, another one down here. Comes down like so. And then this is like his trapezius, which goes into it here. This eventually becomes like the one line, goes that way. And that goes that way. down this way comes down to the front and then another going up this way there's all these vents here and this comes down that way right so then there's all these vent lines and things inside here so we've got like lines that come across like muscle fibers and stuff going all this way And then some more on his neck here. So these are like all sort of gills, you know, kind of like Godzilla himself, right? So it comes down around here. And this will eventually go, like curve around, go underneath his chin. And like that, right? Lots of these. To kind of make them look a bit like gills, we'll just add sort of these lines on them here. And they eventually get smaller as we go down. Right like this. I'm going around underneath his neck. <laughs> line that goes down there and then we've got like some more sort of wrinkles coming across and all these 
these wrinkles in under his neck then. Alright. darken this one up put maybe a shadow here maybe some shadow in this another shadowy area here maybe so he this guy is definitely all about the texture so you, know, you can get your main shape in, but just to give him sort of that rough look, you want to sort of be adding as much texture. As you can. So I know I'm not saying much here now, uh, but all I'm doing is adding this texture to his neck. So it's like, you're just feeling it out and you're adding, just make him look as wrinkly as he can. You know? same on this one. So just carving these lines over his muscle fibers, right? Because this is like his skin texture. So they're like the lines for his muscles, right? Just try and show them clearly right so that's the main lines for his neck and then you're adding these crisscross sort of curving over it like trying to make it show the shape you know that it sort of bulges up in the middle it's like like a line of rope or something you know so that's the trick with these sorts of things and thickening up some lines making them darker you know, dots and lines and trick is always figuring out there's lots of tricks <laughs> but you're trying to figure out where you stop you know where you feel that enough is enough you know that's all you can stand 
just keep adding, keep adding stuff until you either do too much and you have to start all over again. <laughs> no. um, but you know, it's a tricky one. Just keep going. Kind of step back, maybe. Don't do anything for a second. Look at us. See how you feel. Just look all over. And see how everything comes together. You know. Okay, but I think that's all I can do to him. Maybe some more gill. Gill lines. I think I'll have to I'll have to move on because this is taking way too long. Okay. Stop. 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 Okay. Right. So then So he's got those spikes and kind of fins and things on the back of his neck, right? So we have like a couple, say, like normal little spikes, kind of, just like little ones, say like this kind of thing, right? So just these sort of triangle, sort of standard spikes on the back of his neck right here. Just sporadically, sort of, every now and then, kind of just going up his neck, right? Going up that way. And then we start doing these big sort of floral ones, right? And they kind of look like coral, you know, like a coral reef or something like that. So you want to go sort of like up and around like this. Kind of like an oak leaf or something like that. And they have like lines up like this, right? And you just, you do a few of them coming down, right? So this sort of shape again, oak leaf. Coral reef kind of. like that you do some main ones right you do like a main line and then once you get the feel for it you can add some in behind as well but we'll do we'll do a main line just coming down and then we'll do some like it back in behind them as well And just keep going, I guess. Okay. 
So how far down? So that's his shoulder there. So put another one. See here, going back this way. And then like maybe put one in here, like in between them every now and then, right? One maybe in there, and like a small one maybe in there, right? So say like in between, so we'll put one like here, because he's got like layers of them on his back, you know? All right, so. It's always fun drawing these guys. I don't know what it is. It's like, they're so crazy looking. The kaijus, I mean, you know, the monsters. Another one in behind here. Like that. I guess just to match it with the rest of the drawn, I'll, I'll kind of thicken up some edge lines. Right, so like I'll just yeah, I think I'll just darken up some of these. Just go around. All I'm doing now is just making it sort of darker and thicker, just to make the character, the main parts kind of stand out over the texture lines, like over the, the interior lines. It does, it can help. Especially when you're doing something that's has a lot of texture, like like lots of skin texture and stuff, thickening up the outside lines on a sketch like this can just help a little bit. It's an optical thing. And then touch it up. Lots of texture, if you want. But I think I'll have to leave it there, guys. That's how to draw Shin Godzilla. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.